This is a tutorial on the AnyMeeting Online Account Manager. This quick tutorial will briefly go over the different features found on your account manager. Once you've logged into your account, the first page that you should be directed to is the My Meetings page. This is the page where you'll be scheduling, managing, and starting all of your meetings and recordings. If you'd like to start a new meeting now without scheduling one, all you need to do is press the Start a Meeting Now button found here. If you'd like to schedule a meeting for a later time, just press the Schedule a Meeting button. Any upcoming meeting that you have scheduled will appear right here on the Upcoming Meetings tab. At the scheduled time, you'll be able to start the scheduled meeting by pressing the Start this Meeting button for the appropriate meeting. If there are certain settings that you want to view or change for your upcoming meetings, you can do so by pressing View Meeting Details for the appropriate meeting. If you go to the Past Meetings tab, you'll be able to view all the meetings that you've ever held. You can send follow-up emails to the attendees who participated in each respective meeting by pressing the Send Follow-up Email button right here. You can also view the settings for your past meetings by pressing the View Meeting Details for the appropriate meeting. If you go to the Recordings tab, you will find every recorded meeting that was ever created. From here, you will be able to view the recording and edit various settings for the recording itself by pressing the different control options available. For your conference call information, you can view this section right here. Or, click on the Conference Call tab for even further information on the Conference Call feature. For the latest news and updates about our product, you can click here on the Latest News button. If you'd like to run a system test to see if your computer is compatible with our software, click here on the Check Your Computer button. If you go to the Public Profile page, from here you'll be able to edit the information shown on your public profile as well as being able to connect your AnyMeeting account with select social media services such as Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. When you click to the account page, under the contact information section, you'll be able to change the information that pertains to your account by pressing the edit link. Look below to the account management tab and you'll find your current subscription plan for your account. By default, users will automatically have the ad supported plan added to their account. But should you want to upgrade your plan to remove ads from being shown during your meetings, all you need to do is press the Remove Ads button for the appropriate ad-free plan. Go to the Manage Photos tab and you'll be able to upload images to appear on your public profile page and on your meeting login page, registration forms, and surveys. If you have any technical support issues or inquiries, click here on the Support page for a whole slew of online support options. That's it for a quick tutorial, and thank you for using AnyMeeting.